Those are my oh my bad. I'm always okay, shopping other people's right. stuff. Huh? I'm always shopping other people's stuff. Yeah. You're fine. That's fine. No problem. I'm gonna lay these back in here on the wall. Oh yeah, right sure. Here, Just right there. Thank you. 
Here. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. Thank this you. Somebody's, I don't know. I'll just set this. Well, that's somebody's, I don't know. Right. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm headed to where I was. <laughs> This was 25. Okay. And it's right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, this little guy, I didn't see the price on. He was in the back. Um, uh, that didn't yeah, look on the back. What is this thing? Oh. Sally, did, Sally, did you have a price on this? I did. Five. I'm fine with five, yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. And then I've got a. Uh, 30. Uh, pile of stuff back here too, or grab. Oh, okay. And then what's that, hon? Two. Okay. Um, didn't see a price on the hat. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Album, it's fine. Okay. Hey, Sal. I got two of the this thousand pieces, which I think oh, were two dollars each. Two dollars a piece, so that's four. And I, this was out in the garage. I couldn't find a price on it uh, either. That one's in the box. Mm -hmm. um, let's just do. And that's 15 in the box. 15? Sure. Is that okay? 57. Should be in. Okay, 57. Good luck with the sale. Thank you very much. All right, I'm back at the shop. I found a handful of things without a state sale. Nothing too crazy. I got this nice lamp. A friend of mine just bought a house, and I thought it kind of matched the motif she was going for. So I sent her a picture. She said, yeah, go ahead and snag that for me. It was $25. It was the first day, so they weren't negotiating. But, I mean, you can't even really go to Target and buy a lamp and a lampshade for less than, like, 50 bucks anyway. So to find a uh, cool vintage one for 25 bucks, not too bad. Got this vintage General Motors hat. 
Unfortunately, the inside has all that like foam stuff just shedding like crazy. I think you can take a vacuum to it and like suck it all out of there. I don't know. If there's any hat experts watching this, leave me a comment below. When you find these old hats and the foam is just gone on them, like what do you, you know, what's the best way to get it out of there? It is made in USA, which is pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed that the hat market has really cooled off. Seems like three, four years ago, vintage hats were selling like crazy for really good money. And now the market is just absolutely flooded with them. So it seems like it's got to be something really special. But I just wanted to go ahead and grab this since it was General Motors. And it has, you know, what do they call these? A scrambled eggs or whatever. Um, and it was cheap enough. I think it was only like a buck. Found this vinyl record, Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. This is an absolutely fantastic album. If you've not listened to it, I highly recommend it. I paid five bucks for it. The vinyl is in really good condition. And I believe this is one of the first times that a rock band um, joined forces with an orchestra. And it just sounded unbelievable. I'm sure it had happened before, but it just seems like... This one was one of the most popular, you know, at the time that really took off and kind of wowed people. Not that I was around back then, but just what I've heard. So really great album. If you have not listened to that, check it out. Got this uh, Snapper tractor and trailer, um, new in the box. Paid 15 for this. I didn't find any sold that were in the box. I found a few listed that were asking like 50 Realistically, I think the value is probably closer to 35 or $40. So at 15 bucks, I think there's some profit to be made on that. I got this brass plaque that I just thought was so funny. I'm tempted to keep this and just put it on my wall. Again, I forget how much this was, maybe five bucks. They were, they were definitely working on prices because this wasn't priced, this wasn't priced, the hat wasn't priced. So they were, you know, they were working a little bit. Last thing I found is this piece right here. I just thought this had a really interesting look to it. Um, the artist is Shirley Mikesell. And it looks like these. she did like 15 of these. And this is a silk screen. I am the queen of the pentacles. I did a little bit of research. I don't think that um, Shirley Mikesell was a famous artist by any stretch or anything like that but it's just kind of a cool piece and it was two dollars so i went ahead and grabbed that that is it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>